Hello there, welcome to Game Dev Tycoon, Ultra Gaming Inc, episode 15. So it seems absent games are particularly popular at the moment, which is not particularly good for us, we haven't done too well on them, but, 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 well, we're getting, well, they're popular, let's make one. So, topic, uh, action, 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 action wouldn't be a topic, that'd be a genre. Oh. Anyway, okay, so what's to make a good action game? Uh, let's see. Airplane, no. Sports, no. Uh, military action games are usually pretty popular. Action, platform. Ooh, the M box. Oh, that's new, isn't it? As well, great. Um, let's go for it. Let's take a risk. The M box is brand new. Let's go for it. And the game engine, the Colbusher. So it's going to be uh, World War Internet. Bom, bom, bom. Okay, it's going to be a 3D action game. So we'll build that. And the review to our new game. <gasps> the UFO, where are you? I just come in. So let's see what the reviews say. Dun, 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 dun. Three, waste of money, Star Games. Two, what a horrible sequel. Informed Gamer. Two, they shouldn't have forgot about sound. I always think about sound. Sound's been much useless in most of these games. And four, uninspiring all games. Aww. But we're doing so well. <laughs> Alright, action games. A little bit more on the quest side of things, I think. A lot more on the gameplay. A little bit less on the engine. Mostly on the gameplay on this one. Is my view. Uh, yep, 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 yep. And yep, okay. Okay. So, we built, we've got the hype and stuff, and we got some information from uh, Turbo Monkey over in the uh, comments. I'll uh, tell you about those in a minute, but. Ah. Oops. The inbox isn't the new one, is it? My mistake. No, that's inbox. It's inbox 360 we're working with. Ah, you see. Ah. In two months, Gibbs, you were taking off the market. Okay, fair enough. And the vendor have announced their, their bid the next generation console market. I announced the new. New. Instead of trying to compete with Microsoft, Microsoft and Vorne on the hardware strength and graphical power, Nenvento have decided to deliver a truly unique gaming experience. Hmm. I wonder if it'll work for them. The new features a controller with built-in motion sensor which allows players to stand in front of their TV and use their controller as a counterpart to virtual objects on the tennis racket. Ooh. First playtests were seen with huge grins on their faces. Okay, that's going to sound interesting. We can might get into that one. But, 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 we've got to come finish and making our game. So, our game is going to be, it's an action game, so not too much on the AI. Uh, not too much... I think mostly on the AI, actually. Make the enemy good. Dialogue's a little bit up. There we go. Build that. So the hype is growing pretty quickly as well. 38 hype already. I only got stage two. Anyway, old engine. Boss. A small number of dedicated fans have asked that we release a source code for one of our older game engines, the Cold Pusher. We use Cold Pusher every day. Doing so would surely satisfy these fans, but we weren't hard on that engine. Nah, we'll, we'll give it away. We'll give the engine away. We're going to build a new engine anyway, so let's give it away. Let them, let them have it. Let them make, make stuff. It would be great. A recent decision to give away our engine... Uh, we're positive about response from our fans. Overall, we gained 1,600 fans, but it cost us 3,900. Didn't cost us a penny. Not really, anyway. Not real money. It's something we built ages ago. We've got our money out of it. But anyway, anyway, anyway. Military action game. Now, I'm going to put some sound up because you want some bangs and stuff in the background. You're going to want some really good graphics, and you don't really care about your world design too badly. Uh, nothing missed off there. Go. Build. And the hype is... Well, the hype is just climbing like mad, isn't it? Nearly 80? Ooh. Anyway, let's get rid of some of those uh, bugs. There we go. And we can release the game if it's good. Forties. They're in the grave. We can release the game. So, 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 so. Release the game. All right. So while we're waiting for the game to get onto the market, we're going to do some more research quickly. But, but, research. And the research will revolve. Let's have a look at Toad Monkey. He says... Online play, online play, online play, online. We've got enough for one of these, so I'll go to online play is 80. 
And then he says multi platform, multi platform, multi platform, multi, 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 multi. There it is, at 100. Ooh. Uh, okay, we'll go with the online play 80. Because, oh, the reviews are in, the reviews are in. And the reviews say, dun, 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 dun. Seven, nice experience by Star Games. Seven, enjoyable by Informed Gamer. Six, action games work well on the Mbox 360. Game Hero. And finally, with a seven, beautiful by All Games. Oh, they are good, aren't they? Anyway, while we're doing that, let's research. We have 33 left. What can we get? Uh, let's see, what else we say? What else we say? Uh, branching storylines. Can we get branching storylines? No, we're just short on branching storylines. Oh. We'll hold off and we'll get branching storylines then. So we'll quickly. Uh, build a new game. New game. New game, new game, new game. This one will be. We've done transport for a while, I don't think. Transport. Simulation. Uh, PC, because simulation games look great on the PC. Using Cold Pusher. We're going to need a new engine soon, but I'm going to wait till we got that research done. And it's going to be called Drive um, Up. It's a, it's a new game, it's a Drive em Up. It's going to be a 3D game. Yes, it will. And guys can start developing. Go, build, go. Okay. Simulation games require a lot of engine work. Quests are not so important. Gameplay is good, but we'll bring that down like that. Put all the work into the engine, I think, on this one. And uh, nothing missing. We don't really just... Uh, we'll leave it on. Leave it on. We can have it if they want it. And the inbox off the market. We released three games for the inbox. Ooh. And the games for you, but didn't do anything for the games for you. So we'll care about that one going off. Okay, so I will point out World War Internet is massively surpassing UFO on the uh, sales. That's good. That's good for us. All right. So in this one, we'll have an edit editor for you. It's a simulation, so the AI doesn't really need to be done, but the level design needs to be maxed out, and dialogue should be pretty good. I like that layout. Yep. Build that. Build me that. Okay. So 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 so. so. Oh, yeah, come on, come on. Build me something. Build me something. Okay, there we go. Right, so transport. We want... Mm, back down on the sound again. Graphics quality up to top. Will design to top. Bring the graphics quality down a bit. Will design should be the biggest priority here. And... Yeah, I'm happy with that. Go! Build. Do! The hype's going up nice, nice and slow as well. Not as fast as the last one, but it's still pretty good. 19 bugs to get rid of, though. Ooh. Come on, guys. Get rid of some of these bugs. Bugs, 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 bugs. Okay. The UFO, where are you now? Is uh, off the market with 76,000 sales, 845. That's not bad, actually, considering the game didn't get very good reviews. But, come on, come on, come on, four, three. There we go. There we go. And high 40s, so that's looking good. That is looking good. Also, we've got more than. 46 research now, so we can actually get that other bit of building we need to do. Release the game. The reviews are in, and the results are. And the results are. Eight. Very enjoyable. Star Games. Seven. Nice experience. Informed Gamer. Seven. Good game by Game Hero. And finally, with a seven. Transport and simulation is a great combination. All games. Yep, that's that for us. Okay, now you. Research me. The... What was it? What was it? It was. It was indeed. Uh, what was it? What was it? The multi genres 80s. we got to get that one. I can't remember what it was now. Uh, yeah, it's in here somewhere. It's in here somewhere. dun 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 God, where are you hiding? Target audience, no. Multi genre, no. Cutscenes. Branching story. There, branching story. Bump. Build me that. And 1.1 million sales for World War Internet. Very, very nice. Come on, guys. Build me that. Build, 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 build. Just sit around for a minute doing nothing. And the new has been released. Good on you, guys. Good on you. Uh, Drive Up is going pretty well, actually, for sales. Rank 48. 
And... Oh, the third one's were better than the second one. Nice, 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 nice. Build. Build. And we are doing three muscles. I'll tell us that little three muscles like just there. It's very nice. And that's a little tribute to them. And okay, now here we go. Immediately. Immediately. New game engine. This game engine is gonna be called Ulti engine plus this engine will have but we don't really need version one in there do we we can have 2d graphics and 3d graphics linear branching say play basic figures everything basically everything that's not uh, something we need to worry about uh ooh, easter eggs mini games okay this is basically a big engine i don't want to put graphic v1 in there i don't see the reason to have v1 and v2 so build Come on, guys, build me the engine. Are you guys not getting involved in this? No? Really? Well, in that case, train on. Whoop. Train on game design for pirates. And. Can I get anything for you? They require 10, they require 5, we don't have anything, so you have to just not do anything. You stand there and do nothing. <laughs> Alright, so we are building a new engine. While we build this engine, I'm just going to point out, this series is now getting to a point now where I think, uh, one second, 1.1 1 .1 million in sales for a driving book. That's not bad, that's not good, not bad, not bad. Okay, so this uh, series is getting to a bit of a stagnating point now, where uh, we're not progressing forward anymore, because I think we hit the sort of maximum. So, uh, yeah, I think we so, I'm thinking we bring this series to an end and we can start a new series because I've got a new game to look at which is based on the game development side of things but it's a bit more... Uh, bigger move, please. Bigger move. Thank you. Boom. It's a bit more... Yeah, I don't know why we did bigger move actually. We don't have any games selling. That was a, that was a mistake. But yeah, it's, this other game is about... It's, game, it's about making games but you have to actually build the office as well. So it's not just make the games, it's make the games and build the office and make sure you get the resources and do all the other stuff. It's a bit more involved. Anyway, one second. Today, Vony have announced the successor to the massively successful Play System 2. The new console is pred predictably called Play System 3 and comes with an impressive hardware configuration. Very good, very good. Uh, the console also doubles as, as a player for Blu-ray, which Vony hopes will be the successor to DVD format. No, nah, it won't. <laughs> All this power comes with a hefty price tag, but also making the Play System 3 the most expensive console ever. Mostly con customers will react to giving the low cost alternatives. However, considering the massive success of the Play System 2, Vone have been hopeful. Can be hopeful. The, the console is expected to ship in the coming months. Oh, good on you guys, good on you. So, yeah, this new game we build the whole office, we build the whole lot. So, that's going to be kind of uh, an interesting difference. But I don't want to start that game while this one's running because they're both from the same kind of area where they're both do it. But the game is called Software Inc. In case you want to look it up. Uh, yeah. So, uh, very interesting. Uh, oh, five, nearly 500,000. Not bad, not bad. There we go. So, yeah, you have to let me know what you think. Should we continue this series? I will point out this is one of the lowest viewing series, but I am willing to keep it going. Because there's no reason not to, basically. Alright, now we've got some more time. I'm going to put you for another training session. Uh... We have 20s. So I'm going to put you on Innovative Challenge and you on Pixel Cup. Go. So you two can be training while we do the last 130 points of this uh, this uh, engine. So, 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 so. So, yeah. Let me know. Do we continue this series on or do we start the new series with the new game? That's something up to you guys. I will point out... Uh, the new game looks really impressive. I haven't played it properly, but I have played a little dabble with it. But we can we can try. Anyway, anyway, down to the last twenty, and we can continue. Ba bum ba bum ba bum. And new engine, bum bum bum. Achievement five hundred. Ha ha ha. The new engine's ready. Let's get making. So, new game. We have a new game. We don't really have the staff at the moment because they're there. So let's make a new get normal new game. Topic will be a detective adventure game for the ooh. Hmm. Okay, we'll say with it. We'll say with the 
Hey, I pressed that. The Tokyo Adventure game. We'll use the 360 again because we can and it's there, so we'll do that. We'll use the Ultimate Engine Plus. And we'll call this... I can know who did it. I know who did it. Bump. We'll use the 3D engine. And, 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 and. Build. Do stuff. And we have a guy that hopefully soon we can do a bigger game. This one's going to have a branching storyline rather, rather than a linear one. And um, we're going to, oops, bring that up to about there. Cause this is a adventure game to these stories. It's going to have multiplayer, basic physics, online. Whoa. Online play, okay. Save to cloud, mod support, achievements, and skill tree. Gameplay. Wow, we can't have all of it? Okay, well, in that case, uh, we'll get rid of user experience and game trials. And there we go. So that kind of dictates what we're going to do with this one. Doesn't it? Uh... It's a venture game. I do think gameplay and story quests are actually most important anyway, so we will do that. Ba -dum -bum -ba -dum -bum. Whoa, Look, those are some of those are big, aren't they? Technology ones, big balls coming up. Interesting, anyway. So, yes, we are uh, building a big game. Building, building, building. Hi, this is Ronald Keane from Smash. I've got a word that Ultra Gaming is talking about a new game. I will talk to you about it very much. What is your expectation? It's a massive game. Great new engine, all the great stuff. You'll love it. If you said anything else, you really don't deserve to be in that company. It's very simple, the point. Okay, we're going to have Easter eggs and mini games and level editors and, and all that kind of stuff. So, bring that to there. Uh, it's an adventure game, so dialogues and level design actually should be maxed out. I, yeah, I will put about there. And that should do it. That should about do what I think we're going to be right for this. So, go, build, do. In what some call a bizarre show of arrogance, Vaughn representative have been trash talking Micronoff's successful Mbox 360 while praising their own upcoming console. They all do that. The lead up to their launch this late month. When asked about the usually high price of the play system, the high ranking company officially replied people will work more hours to buy one. We want people to feel that they want it more than anything else. They are a bit of a geek, really, aren't they? We're not sure players will really want this so badly. So far, the major game titles have been announced for the Play System 3. Anyway, developers need to take full advantage of the new console's powers. Okay. So basically, they're being a bit of an ass about it, and they're hoping people will just buy it anyway, because it's got a big name. Sounds like Apple, really, doesn't it? We've just, recovered a We've just received a letter from the US. We just received a letter from a company called All Your IP Belongs to Us. And they say that our engine, Ultimate Engine Plus, is imaging one of their patents. Is it Hellas like? They graciously offer a license to their patent for for a million. And willing to give us a 50% discount if we just pay them without fighting at court. Uh, Ooh, we could rally the fans. But no. Go to court. We'll go to court. It's our engine. We built it. They can screw off. Um, new. Good, good, good. And. So we will go adventure games, need more graphics and world design, less sound, what the sounding? Build that, it's got all the bits in it. We can have this game on the market pretty quick, I hope. And the Play System 3 has been released. Okay, good, 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 good. Ba -da -bam, ba -da -bam, ba -da -bam, ba and get rid of the bugs. Release the game. The court dismissed the patent infringement claims against us Saying the claim was ridiculous. All costs were paid by the suing party. Oh, we win! Da, 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 Whoa, 5746. Oh, and we got a new combo as well, which I didn't know we'd got. But hey, 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 release the game. Definitely, those are high scores. And now, what well, we're getting the game to go out, we're going to develop a new game. It'll be a medium game. It will be a post apocalyptic action game on the 360, because consoles and action do pretty well. Using the big engine. And we'll call this one, uh, we, we survived it all. I'm good with names. 3D engine. And the reviews are in. Ready? 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 Bump. And, da 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 Eight. Detective and Adventure is a great combination. Star Games. Six. Quirky but good. Informed gamer. 
8. Played it for days. Game Hero. And finally, 7. Beautiful. All games. So they are starting a new game. And we can build up and do stuff. And they've got moderately better, I suppose. But anyway, we're going to go with all the good stuff. And this is an action game. So action games are a little less about the uh, story. But I want to bring it up a little bit. Just enough to stop it from complaining at me. There we go. And it's a lot about the gameplay and quite a lot about the engine. So that's probably a good combination already. Um, although we can probably bring the engine up a bit. How about that? There we go. And that should... Can I view them? I can't bring them in. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we'll bring them in anyway. No, we won't. Don't want to risk it. Don't want to risk it. Uh, well, we could bring the engine down a bit. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. Ooh, it's pushing it a bit, isn't it? Oh, we could bring that down a bit. Actually, engine's looking a bit of whack. Whoa. Okay, gameplay off. We need the engine to be good. Uh, so in quests. Uh, down. 50. Let's get some stuff in here that might make a difference. Um, tech, go. Design, go. You, go. Uh, did that make a difference? It did not. Okay, gameplay can come down a bit. To about there. I'm just sort of trying to get rid of the potential badge if we can help it. Uh, I think more on the... We can't do any more on that. Okay, so we kind of have to choose what we don't want here. Um, I'd say we get rid of safety cloud. And... Ooh. Ooh. I think we go back to a linear storyline. No, we can't really do that. that. That would just be kind of stupid to us. Um, but that is all we can really do, isn't it? So that... We're going to try and get away with that. Gameplay can come down. Ooh, gameplay can come down. Not by much, though. <sighs> okay, we'll get rid of achievements. Get rid of achievements. And that should hopefully appease the engine. Put that there. I'm going to have to live with the engine being a bit crappy, potential-wise. But no, I'll leave all that in. Build that, guys. Build that. Go, 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 go. And dun, 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 dun. there we go. Smash an exclusive interview. TX from Ultra Gaming Inc. made a very bold remark to be adding a new game. We did indeed. Another game is on the market. Consensus says they should be more careful. It was good. Doing pretty good on sales, I'd say. <laughs> but anyway, come on, guys. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, so. Design. Uh, let's see. Let's get, the, let's get the slider set first. So we need AI to be pretty decent. We need level design to be pretty good, and dialogues can be a bit crappy. Really, like that? Like like that? I'd say like that. Okay. So we put uh, tech onto AI, design onto level design, and you always get your last little bit at the end, don't you? Everything's on. Good. Build. Build, 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 and here we go. It seems adventure games are pop. Oh, could be in action games. We're building an action game, guys. Action games? No, all right then. But anyway, come on, guys. Come on, 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 come on. And 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 and. Okay, so it's a action game. So again, sound moderate, graphics high, world design high. Okay, so this actually not didn't change too much. So can I put you on there, you on there, and you on there? Ugh. Can I put you on there and you get a chance to do some graphics and you get a chance to work on that? That'll have to work, unfortunately. Uh, they're pretty good. I'm happy with the design. Go for it. Build me my game. My game of many, many, many things. <laughs> Need more staff again, but uh, yeah, you know. Uh, off the market, we got 1.3 million in sales. Nice. Nice. Okay, so the final bit. Get rid of those bugs. Bug, 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 bugs. There we go. All done. And the results are in. 40s. High 40s. Good, 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 good. We can release that game. Release the game. And let's get the reviews in. Reviews. Okay, here we go. 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 And the reviews are. Dun, 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 dun. Six. I liked it by Star Games. Six, shows potential by informed gamer. 
Six quirky but good game hero. And finally, five fun at stages by all games. Okay, get the game on the market. So this we're going to leave the game. I'm not going to have any questions over for how to proceed forward. I'm going to start with some question. Do we end this series or and start the new Software Inc. game? Or do we continue on this series, uh, even though we're not going to progress any further, because I think this is the final office size. I'm not going to get much bigger. But I'm going to leave it up to you guys. New game or continue this one. But until next time, comment in the comments. Fans for watching. And we'll see you next time.